Hey guys, it's PSR1986 and this is a follow-up video from the dupe video which I made earlier where I was showing you how that you how you can dupe armor, how you can dupe uh, apparel and things like that. Now, um, a few people, well a lot of people have really struggled to get this and at the time when I made the video I did it four or five times in a row, it was a piece of cake. But since then, it has become a lot more tricky and for whatever reason, I don't know if something has changed in the background with Bethesda or whatever, other people and myself are all really struggling to get it. So that's what this video is about. Now, as I did in the other video, I've set up a set of stairs or two sets of stairs with a couple of platforms so that I can force the ally to fall and land onto uh, a big bed of punjis like what we've got here. Now. I do know that it can be done without them falling onto punjis, but I believe that you have a greater chance of them staying downed if they fall onto a better punjis. For example, if they're going to try start getting up or something or other along those lines um, whilst you're trying to log out of the server or whatnot. I don't know exactly how the mechanics of it work. Um, I'm not a programmer or whatever. I don't work for the devs. Um, you know what we're doing is we're communicating something that we've. It, it's basically there's no critical science to it is what I mean to say so what we did uh, uh, here is we we're getting the ally to go up to the top and then as soon as he started to move uh, we we're going to we we're removing the floor or the stairs from underneath him and he dropped down now a lot of people have been saying to me um, you know th this isn't working because uh, when I come back the ally isn't dead I'm telling you now nine times or even 20 times out of 21 times or 99 times out of 100 even that we're doing this that's exactly what is happening uh, you're coming back and the ally uh, is not dead but at the same time there's a lot of people who are, who are reporting that it is working and I've got video proof for you here again uh, today to show you that it's working um, like I say there is some element of timing that's involved unfortunately I've not yet got the exact timing down to a T. So I can't t turn around to you and say, as soon as that ally hits the floor, give it a second and then spawn out, or give it half a second and then spawn out. There, there is no exact science to it. But basically, the way that I do it is as soon as I see that they're down, I leave the server. Once I've left the server, I come straight back in using private server. So I'm com just constantly coming back to the same place. And then what we're going to be doing is fast traveling to the vault. Now, uh, what, what I will say is uh, if you spawn back in and your ally is still knocking about, he's, he's stood there, they're in a new place, they're back up with their uh, um, uh, the unit that they sit on, for example, with mine, it's the radar guy, so he sits down at that radio station, but I don't know if you get the astronaut, she's at that computer or whatever, uh, the old man's on the chair. If they're back there, then it means that the exploit hasn't worked, so there's no point in you fast travelling away and uh, effectively wasting another two three minutes or whatever it is it's going to take to take you as you can see here i could see that the ally was over there there's no bags here it doesn't look like it's worked uh, and as i say the ally is there so i knew that it hadn't worked on this occasion um, but persistence is key and that's what it comes down to so i came back up here um, you can place the uh, the allies bench or unit or whatever so that it's on the edge of the uh, foundation or the, the 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 floor should we say so that it falls so that they fall over the edge when they get out of it that has the same it has this, it achieves the same result um, at the end of the day you just want the ally to be downed so as you can see here what I've done is I put this back and then I'm going to delete this stair the ally is going to fall He's going to hit the punjis and then we're going to leave the world. Now something that I didn't notice when I first did this is as I fell there you could see that the ally wasn't there. Now I'm pretty sure that's because when they hit the ground they slide, they move. Um, you'll know what I'm talking about if you've got punjis set up below the ally. So basically the ally hits the ground and then they slide somewhere as they're kneeling down and they're, they're bleeding out or whatever it is. Um, so I came back into this uh, uh, server having done everything that we said that we we're going to do. And the most critical thing is uh, at this point the ally is not back at the base. So have a look. You can see that they're not there. So, no ally. So what we're going to do is, 
I actually left server. Actually, I oh, know I didn't leave server. No, I, uh, so then we fast travel. I'm going to fast travel up to the vault 76. And like I say, I'm doing this in a continuous loop. I want everybody to see step by step what I've done so that you can see that it is working, that it does work, that there's no trickery or anything like that. And then we're going to come back. Oh, we're going to fast travel back, should we say? Back to the base. And at first, when I got here, I didn't think it had worked because of where I saw that the ally was landing. I thought, well, he's that's where he's going to hit the punjis. And I didn't realize or didn't uh, think at the time about the fact that when they hit, they slide. So I didn't actually see where the ally ended up when he was downed. But if you come over here, you can see. Have a quick look around. No ally up there. Check that he's not on his bench which he's not and we're looking for that little dot at the bottom of your map can you see the little bar at the bottom it's a little circle that's how you know that your ally is in the vicinity if you see that the glitch hasn't worked but there it is just on the left hand side the little bag and inside it the pieces that I had on the ally and uh, at this point I'm screaming and shouting yeah it's worked it's worked it's worked and I'm absolutely buzzing and we'll check in the stash and they're still technically on the ally which I can then pick up and if we check the inventory you can see that I've got two of each dupes that's it simple super simple now don't get me wrong i'm not telling you that if you do everything that i've done in this video you're going to get it 100 percent of the time every single time i've just shown you on the video a couple of tries it didn't work straight away there's no exact science to it it takes time it's difficult but keep persisting with it and it will work and sooner or later we're going to iron out these creases so that somebody in the community whether it's myself whether it's one of the other exploiters or the guys on youtube are going to come up with a fine-tuned system that'll work 100 percent and as soon as it does i make sure i'll bring it to you guys thank you very much for listening see you soon